Hi, I'm at a Cisco Advanced Innovation Fair talking about AI and collaboration, and with me is Snorri Kespu, and we're going to talk a little bit about endpoints and what Cisco is doing to integrate endpoints with AI. So welcome, Snorri, and um, tell us a little bit about what Cisco is doing in this area. Thank you very much, and uh, it's, it's great talking to you. you know, we're in very exciting times. Uh, we've uh, reached out to a number of end users, about 2,400 of them, and uh, done a study on uh, uh, what AI can impact the workplace. Uh, and we've seen some very interesting feedback. Uh, around 90% uh, believes that uh, AI can actually positively impact uh, their work environment. If we go over and we think about our personal space, um, in our personal space, we kind of talk about the Google effect, right? Uh, the Google effect means we can find information from all over. I can find all the details about any hotel in Paris without any challenges. But in the workspace, uh, it's not that easy. Uh, in the workspace, uh, it's harder to find information. And what we're trying to do is really to um, to get things done at speed in the workspace when you're innovating. So for the endpoint specifically, we're trying to make sure that the rooms are easier to use, uh, it's more intuitive, and also uh, that we can actually adapt and use machine learning to provide better outcomes in the room. Let me take a couple examples. <clears throat> we have over years created a number of building blocks Building blocks around uh, camera tracking, about face recognition, about echo cancelling and cancelling out noise. In our newest room systems, we're combining those and we're combining those to do, to do brand new things. We're amongst others working together with uh, NVIDIA and using their Jetson platform in our room systems to do more smartness and, and better things in the room. So now, for instance, we can dynamically adapt um, camera angle to whom's talking the most. Um, we can adapt uh, the, the crop of the camera when people are entering the room. We also have algorithms for being able to suppress uh, dogs barking or being able to take out, out uh, the noises from keyboards. So we're using a lot of these machine learning algorithms to create a, a better experience and making it easier to, uh, uh, to uh, conduct meetings. So you mentioned NVIDIA. So tell me a little bit more about what they provide and how you're using it. Yeah, so NVIDIA has a, a great uh, platform and a great chip uh, called the Jetson. Uh, one of the things that it's used for a lot is uh, actually self-driving cars. So whether that's a Tesla or Audi or, or others, um, uh, they're using this for advanced image processing and to avoid collision and, and other things. Uh, obviously, a uh, video room system uh, is, is not colliding with anything, but what we can do is basically to use that same type of processing capabilities and, uh, and use it in the room uh, to do a lot of new things amongst others, being able to recognize faces, put uh, name tags on people, so that when you walk into a meeting, you actually know who's on the other side. So even when you haven't met people before, or you've forgotten a name, you will be able then to have a name tag on somebody's chest, uh, reminding you of, of, of who they are. It's also about how we use the camera technology to be able to, to track people, to count people in a room, and lots of other very, very good uh, features that really making the experience uh, better. Are these things available now, or are we talking near future, future, future? So this is both available and it's near future, and some of the AI stuff is obviously future, future. This AI isn't a destination, it's a journey, as I, I would put it. Uh, but today we ship uh, in, in all of our new products, we ship with all of this camera uh, tracking technology and machine learning algorithms. But we also see in the not so distant future, we will be able to have the name tags out and um, do also suppression of keyboard strokes and things like that adaptively in the meeting where the unit actually detects itself that it's not Snorri talking, but it's Snorri violently typing on this keyboard.
Okay, great. Well, thank you so much, Nora. Appreciate your time. Thank you very much.